And I guess it's afternoon at this point, isn't it? We're used to morning services. <laughs> Amen. We're happy to be with y'all. Nice to meet new family in the Lord. I love your bathrooms. And it said, brother and sister. I said, we're among family. <laughs> Amen. We're so glad to be with y'all. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. How many thankful that we've got something? Amen. Today, that's more valuable than the riches of this world. That's more valuable than gold or silver. Amen. This world doesn't have anything to offer us. Amen. We were talking about it underneath the tent the other day that Amen. That uh, you know this this world. Amen. They have things to offer us, but if we expose ourselves enough to what's real, amen. we can't be fooled with the counterfeit. Amen. 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 If we get so. You know, I grew up in Pentecost. Praise God. I grew up. Amen. In a church where there really is a move of the Spirit. How many know not every place is a real move of the Spirit? Right. Amen. But there really was in the place that I grew up in, and I praise God for it. Praise God for parents, amen, that protected me. Amen. amen. Everyone always said, well, you're just uh, you're just sheltered. And I said, I praise God for it. Amen. Thank yes, you, right. right. Jesus. I've been yes. sheltered. Amen. And so, uh, but, you know, this, the Bible said the very elect, if it were possible, which we have seen in these right. last days. And then, you know what, I think what the most amazing thing is that if we just expose ourselves enough to the real, genuine Holy Ghost, the yes. real, genuine move of the Holy Spirit, yes. that, you know, we, we whenever I first started um, um, going into ministry and evangelizing and things like that, I would, get, I would almost be moved by talent. I would see someone who could sing so good. Yeah. And Lord, I'd think, oh my goodness, I wish I could sing like that. Man, What? look at them, how well they can yeah. sing. Or I'd, I'd listen to a preacher and I'd think, wow, how did I not think about that scripture lining up with that one? And what an amazing sermon. And I, was, I was almost moved by talent. But then there was always that one thing that I was raised on Hallelujah. that I could always lean back on. Yeah. And think, do they have that though? Right. Do they have that thing that could feed the very depths of my soul? Right. That very thing that has the words of eternal life. Amen. That Jesus put on the inside of their soul. Hallelujah. That real thing. That talent can't replace. A good song can't replace it. A good sermon, that, no matter how eloquently they can present it, they can't replace it. That move and that presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, but I'm thankful that this morning doesn't matter. Amen. How much talent we have. We may have. Have, they might be able to carry a tune in a bucket, but I know what I know that I know. Yeah. That presence of the living God will just walk in the yeah. place this morning. Yeah. I know that every yoke will be destroyed. The Bible says yeah. the anointing that destroys the yoke. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I believe today, amen, that if Jesus will walk in the room, our healing just walked in the room. Yeah. Our deliverance yeah. just walked in the room. Yeah. Our
Oh. 